My name is Caitlin Osborne. I'm the manager for recruitment and enrollment within the College of Arts and Letters at Stevens. Uh, this portion of the presentation is just meant to give folks who may not be as familiar with the college a little bit of an overview of the work that we do here. So just to get started, so the college is one of the four schools on Stevens campus. Uh, we have four different program areas that we kind of house. Um, and within those four program areas, we have seven different individual degrees. Um, our largest program is the music and technology program with a bachelor of arts degree in music and tech. Um, our second largest enrollment leader is the visual arts and tech program. Uh, that's what Professor Manzion was just talking about. Students um, obtain a bachelor of arts degree within visual arts and tech, but they have an opportunity to do a concentration in game design, design, moving image, and creative computation. Um, and then we also have students who do degrees within the science and technology studies program. Uh, this program houses our only bachelor of science degree in science, technology, and society. Um, and we also offer a bachelor of arts degree in science communication. Uh, and then in the humanities and social sciences, students can obtain degrees in literature, philosophy, and social science. Within social science, students also have an opportunity to pursue a concentration. This time it's in psychology, political science, and sociology. Um, it's important to mention that while students can major in all of these areas, they also can pursue minors. So students from across campus can pursue a minor within the College of Arts and Letters in one of these areas. Um, in addition to those minors, we also offer minors in pre-law and public policy, film studies, theater and technology, gender and cultural studies, and medical humanities. So now I'm going to talk with you a little bit more about what kind of led us to today. Um, so in terms of the work that you've all seen so far, all of these projects have been over a year in the making. Um, so while the process might look a little bit different for each of our majors, all Cal students do begin their thesis work during their second semester of their junior year. Um, for our visual arts and tech students, this time includes developing their professional writing skills, preparing their portfolios, um, and gaining a better understanding of the job and the internship process. Uh, so visual arts and tech majors also use this semester to develop their artistic statements as a means of um, outlining other artists and creatives who they may use their work as an influence for their ultimate projects. Um, for many of our music and tech, humanities and STS students, um, oh, excuse me. For many of our music and tech humanities and STS students, um, this time includes an overview of research methods that are specific to their individual disciplines um, and ones that will ultimately help them define both the scale and the scope of their upcoming research projects. Uh, during the fall of their senior year, students uh, begin to work with their thesis advisors to workshop their research questions and artistic statements uh, before they ultimately begin their research. So for some students, this is a time of physically creating pieces of creative work. And for other students, this is a time of deploying surveys and analyzing results um, or conducting literature reviews. And then finally, uh, where we are right now in their senior spring, students begin to pull their work together and put finishing touches on their projects. Um, all of the work that's uh, led up to this showcase this week for both the Visual Arts and Tech uh, Exposition and the Stevens Innovation Expo has been over a year and a half in the making. So we really hope that you've enjoyed what you've heard so far. Um, and this, these next slides are just meant to give you a little bit of a flavor of some of the facilities that our students use to kind of pursue the work that they're doing as part of their capstone and their thesis research. Uh, this first slide shows you our music and tech facilities. Uh, usually we would have opportunities to showcase to you, these to you in person. So unfortunately we just have pictures this time around. Uh, but within the music and tech program, we do have an on-campus music and tech studio. We also have a networked piano lab. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, a sound synthesis research center, which is not technically a space that classes take place in, but it's more of a lab space for our music and technology students to kind of explore their creativity. Um, and then the scene lab, which is an interdisciplinary space for both our music and technology and our visual arts and technology programs uh, for students to do things like um, augmented reality work, virtual reality work, audio spatialization. And then similarly within the visual arts and tech uh, program, we have spaces that students do the majority of their classwork in, but also a lot of their external research in. So the visual arts and technology studio is a really hands-on space for a lot of the coursework that takes place within this program. Uh, once again, you'll see a student in the upper right-hand corner using the scene lab for some uh, virtual reality work. Uh, and then the visual arts and technology lab in the lower left-hand corner is really one of the kind of mainstays of the visual arts and tech program. Um, it has a, about eight Mac workstations for students to use and the floors are or the walls are lined, excuse me, with floor to ceiling whiteboards uh, for really collaborative and creative opportunities for critique and um, kind of storyboarding and workshopping ideas, both again inside the class and then outside of class time. 
Uh, and then in the lower right-hand corner is a poster that Professor Manzione just shared with you. And this is just to kind of, once again, kind of really um, suggest that you take an opportunity to, to look at the work of our visual arts and technology students. Their exhibition opening last night was amazing. Uh, and you know, to do the program, the projects justice, it's really a great thing for you to, to click around on the website and to get to, to read about some of the work that they have been doing. <clears throat> and now I'm going to pass this on to um, Connor Durkin, who is our manager of communications and marketing, who's going to talk to you a little bit about what's coming up next today, um, as well as ways that you can stay in touch with the College of Arts and Letters. Hi, I'm Connor. Uh, as Caitlin said, I'm the communications and marketing manager within the College of Arts and Letters. Uh, I can speak for myself, I've been incredibly impressed over the last day and a half uh, by all the work that we've seen come out of the college. Uh, from last night's visual arts presentation to all the music and social science and humanities work that we're seeing today. I uh, just want to plug that we're not done yet. Uh, after Caitlin and I speak, uh, we have a few more things coming up in today's Innovation Expo. Uh, right after us, uh, Professor Billy Middleton is going to announce the winners of this year's Creative Writing Contest. Uh, launched in 2013 by Professor Middleton, uh, this contest uh, celebrates the work, uh, whether it be fiction or nonfiction or poetry that our students submit every year. Uh, then after that, for the Innovation Expo, two of our professors are going to be presenting for the middle school and high school experience. And I really encourage you guys to kind of jump in there and see what it's all about. Uh, first, Alex Wellerstein, who is a professor in our science, tech, uh, science and technology and society studies, uh, program is going to be talking about the challenge of the atomic bomb and then Professor Harari who led uh, you know kicked off today's session uh, by hosting uh, that living room concert uh, is going to be talking about how does creating uh, music animation and video translate to a career in STEM so definitely check those out uh, what I want to do is also really encourage everyone to keep in touch over the summer and keep uh, our graduating, uh, encourage our graduating seniors to definitely keep in touch uh, as you kind of move beyond college. Uh, and so what I want to say is that today is not going to be the only day we're going to be celebrating these seniors. Uh, one of the benefits, one of the silver linings we're seeing in moving the Innovation Expo onto an online format is that we're going to very much be able to feature every one of our students uh, and kind of shine a spotlight on them on our website. And so I encourage you over the next few weeks to check out our website at stevens.edu backslash the college and check out our Instagram, uh, which where we will also be featuring them. And that is at the college at Stevens on Instagram. Uh, you always can keep in touch with us as you move out, uh, as you graduate and if you, perhaps just want to know what's going on uh, around the College of Arts and Letters, you can sign up for our weekly news e uh, newsletters uh, if you just email the college at stevens.edu. And if you have any questions at all, uh, feel free to email that address and we'll get back to you. Uh, and just wanted to give one final plug again to the visual arts website uh, that was created this year. Uh, that URL is visualartandtech.net. It is really incredible. Uh, make sure you check it out uh, today, tomorrow, any day, it'll be up. Uh, and so that's all I have to say. Please keep in touch. Uh, and what we're going to do now is throw it over to Professor Middleton, who is going to talk about the creative writing contest. <laughs> 